Okay, then again. Welcome to the meeting. Just, uh, I also mentioned it already, but I did it again. Um, what will happen during the next time? Probably here something will be said, which is already happening. And um, then there can be comments on this, or questions, or there can be a conversation. And if no one comes up with something, there can also be silence. Yeah. We don't have to talk. In the end, and this is more a description, what's going on here is more like energetic. It has nothing to do with the words or the words are not so important actually. Actually there's nothing important words are not here. Well it may seem this Yeah. Yes, this, this meeting won't lead us anywhere. There is nowhere to get. There is no goal or no point or state in the future which is different than this. One could also say that um, this is it. This is oneness, or wholeness, or God, or energy, or nothing appearing as something. It's this. And this is everything. This is totally complete and full and fulfilled and Yes, everything. It's everything. There's nothing else. There's no no world. There's no past. There's no future. There's only this. And this this is let's say nothing. It's no thing. It's not an object. It's not something which can be grasped or known or understood or gained as a, as a treasure or something like this. It just is this. It's an appearance. What also appears or can appear is the sense of being a separate person. The sense of being an individual which is separate from what's happening separate from wholeness, which means actually, which is separate from this. And in this perception of being a separate individual, the perception is like, okay, I'm here, I'm a real person, and the world is separate from me, is outside, is out there. I'm sitting here, and there's the world, and it is full of things chairs, um, people, tables, I'm sitting in a room, there's light, I'm hearing sounds, that's the perception of this, um, this entity which experiences, this apparent entity which experiences itself as separate. Of course, this entity also only is what appears. There is no separate person. There is no separate entity. There is only wholeness. There is only what appears. What can also appear, or what also can happen, and this is a bit like a story, is that this perception of being someone can collapse, or disappear, or not be there then it's recognized by no one that there already is wholeness, that this is wholeness, and that this is 
already full and complete and that actually this is what this this me, this I was always looking for. But can never see, can or could never see because it it only lives in a pan separation. This we could also say that the feeling of me only its only function is to experience itself as me. It doesn't do anything else. There is no one doing actions, and that's also that's um, that's happening. That's me. Yeah. It only does experience itself as me. So, one more sentence. For this me, for this apparent me, it's um, really impossible to be at one, to experience oneness. Because as long as there is the feeling of separation, there is the feeling of separation. Feeling of wholeness can be, I mean, everlasting, but I think also can be, I mean, from my experience. Someone, I can have, I had experienced some glimpse of it. Mm. Then again, separation comes. Mm. Yeah. And what I find challenging with <coughs> that is how to not relate to kind of, okay, to grasp to the past experience of wholeness. Or to try to, okay, I get there by this way, like my meditation was like that, but that's mm -hmm. what I should be sure to Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's, actually it's impossible to leave this. For, for this apparent I, it's impossible to not think in a story and to not Think this cause and effect thing. I do this, then this, this happens. Because when you said there were glimpses, actually there, there were times like this when there was no one. And also these glimpses had nothing to do with what you did before. It just, just happened. It just what was what was happening. And, and of course this apparent I thinks that it has done something. I don't know if you did meditate before or did already leave a spiritual life so called or Yeah, it's came true spiritual life. And Actually, sometimes the question comes up, it's kind of, yeah, should I just not leave retreat? Because it's mostly when you get out of a retreat that, I mean, this feeling of oneness can, can stay, sometimes can stay for two days, sometimes for a week, sometimes for months, whatever, the time is not important in that. Yeah, yeah. But it's always like, usually when you get back into the no well, world. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I yeah. So, but I don't feel I, I want necessarily a monk life or mm -hmm. an hermit life. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you kind of in that where to. Actually, there's no where is that. There's no how. There's no where. There's no why. That's it. That's it. It has complete. What what we're talking about here? This oneness, which by the side is not a feeling. I think you also 
I think there's also some kind of idea attached how one has, should look like. But this, what we're talking about here, has really nothing to do with with any person or with leading a spiritual life or leading a different life. It's top. It's really beyond any personal stuff. Because I would say it's not an not an experience. It's not. It's nothing. It's no thing. Nothing which the person, the apparent person, can grasp or have. Or and what you're describing, in a way, I know this very well. This this having and losing thing somehow. But but it's within the story of the apparent. It's, it looks like as if the apparent me is um, holding on to some state, some state of um, loving feelings, having less thoughts, being relaxed, all this, all this kind of thing, which, which to some extent can be brought about by some method by meditation, by breathing, by having retreats, which actually seems to be a long meditation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, because also when I'm talking about oneness, then it's really only this. This is it. This this is oneness, nothing else. It's not tomorrow or yeah. a state when everything is good. It's just this. And it doesn't get better than this. Yeah. For the apparent me, it's okay, this. I thought it would be better or different or more holy or yeah. shining or. Actually, it's impossible to answer this question. Shall I do this or shall I do this? Because there is cause there's no one. There is no one who can decide this or who should decide this. Or this just works for the practice. Somehow, with this collapse of this identity, collapse of identity, with this collapse of this identity, the whole idea of spiritual journey and someone being on the story just just fell fell away. reality and there's time and the path and I'm coming from there and I'm going to there and that's my goal and yeah. all this yeah, yeah there's nowhere to go. Yeah. 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 But this which feels separate can't do anything with this. Even if it knows in the mind that there's no goal. 
somehow. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's coming from thinking place. Mm-hmm. It's the mind that can trick itself in a way that thinking that there's no goal, but who's thinking that there's no goal is the mind, so of course. Getting... And and still subtly there will be some go to yeah. some That's more right. relaxation. Yeah. Or, more. Yes. or a way to get there. That's probably it's sometimes easy to just kind of seek for like okay which path or which way it's suitable for me. Like, but in that if you at some time okay so. When there's a feeling, when there's a we are having separate, so this this can for sure like the mind, the goal, the path, the way, decision how I should do that or my spiritual path or all those things. But is it to just? Sometimes difficulty about this concept of just like I know it's just it's not just be like lazy and do nothing. But sometimes can be confusing, like oh it's just one that's just one that there's nothing to do. That's it's I know it's not this, but what this? What what it, yeah, it's kind of taking just as they are, okay, but then I go in life in that, with that, like I make decision, I kind of nourish myself as a deeper self. Mm-hmm. There is no, no deeper self. There is only what happens. There is only what appears. And this apparent me thinks or experiences it and is as if it has to do it. As if it has to do um, decisions, for example. But actually this is all happening without this apparent self. You said something before, but now I, I forgot this. This was quite cool. Um, this is what a bit, it sounds like this wondrous thing that you said something like, should I let happen everything like it is, or welcome it, or... And actually also this is a step too much. Because this everything is already happening as it happens. And this appear me somehow artificially adds it up to this. Oh I have to let things happen. I have to accept it, something like this. But all this happens out of this experience of being separate. This doesn't have to be accepted. Actually, this apparently can never accept this as wholeness. It will never, it will never see or experience that this is wholeness. That this is it. Never. Because this perception of being someone. As I said, it exists only as the perception of being separate, of being separate. And everything which this me thinks it has to do or can do or it's futile. It's being there's no 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 effect. Of course, this apparently has the um, 
Of course, it's a man. He has the. <laughs> this this apparently has because the world because it is here and the world is outside it thinks it has to deal with the world of course so all these ideas come up someone realize all this or it's just a spontaneous no no that's the thing there is no one who realizes all this that just and also this is a story it's hard to talk about it but when this this um, I mean there can be realizations in a story but they last for one minute or five minutes or and then they're gone so they are not worth anything, those realizations or insights or something like that. Um, now it's more like without reason this perception of separation, this me, is not. And all there is is wholeness. And it's not perceived by anyone or known by anyone. So it might uh, seem like this if when here is talked about it, but it's not known. In a way, and this is also a description, only it's not a truth, it's just obvious. There's nothing else. It's just, it's this. Also to call it wholeness is very strange actually. But, It's more like the end of that which feels separate, or which experiences itself as separate. It's the end of this artificial reality of I'm not this, or and I have to find this, and so. Mm. Which can't be brought about. Because also the, the idea of bringing about it comes from this false, um, or from this artificial thinking or experiencing, that there really is someone. So for this me, it's totally hopeless. Yeah. <laughs> it will never experience this. Because it's not an experience, it's not a thing. It's this, but it's not, not a thing. This event, me only lives in things, or things it can know and experience, looks like this, feels like this, is like this, and something like this. But this is nothing. It's really no thing. It's beyond this limited world. This thing. It's just no connection. It's impossible. It's impossible. So on the other way around, this is not an experience. It's it uh, has nothing to do with being always happy or being always with relaxed or without thoughts or there is only wholeness. So everything, it's a story, but everything that happened already in your life was wholeness, is wholeness. Every, in a way, unloved feeling, every strange thought, every experience, was home. There is only home. Start 
wanting to feel separate after a nice time is on appearing as feeling stuff. Of course this can be a mistake. <laughs> In the last sentence that you said, that feeling separate after is allness, as experience as with separation, but the separation is not true. Yes, it it's, 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 a, it's a mind or ego, whatever we can call it, like perception of. Identifying my cancer prey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is what I meant with that it's not understood. This which feels separate still will feel separate. Yeah. This cannot deal with this, though it can somehow accept or somehow say yeah, it is like this. But I think this this separation thing it's much more than thoughts or some mind games. It's really a a whole perception of really being a person. And the symptoms are maybe a lot of thoughts or a lot of I thoughts and games with thoughts, but it's really somehow a deeper than that. You perceive itself as who you are. And there is the other things. But yes, it's only apparently separate. There is no there is no such thing as separation. Therefore, there is no person who has to, to come back to himself, has to find its way back to us. Because it's only this uh, how you come here. What's happened to feeling or difficult emotion in a state of oneness? Because one still live in the world, that experience or just being one of it. Mm. So, <coughs> like fear, sadness. And it's just what happens, but there is no one who wants to deal with it. And there's no one who has the impression that it's happening to him or her. But when, when there is some um, sadness, there's just sadness. And in a way, then sadness is everything. Then there's only sadness. Or only what happens. Probably, I don't know really about it, but probably it looks quite the same that it always did. But the perception that it's happening to me, and that I have to do something with it, like feel it or not feel it, or welcome it or not welcome mm -hmm. it, this is gone. Mm -hmm. There's also sadness, anger, and being stressed out. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty simple actually. But there's no no energy who wants to deal with it in some way. And 
also one can say that there's no story attached to it. Like, oh, I'm sad, and I shouldn't be sad, and I'm sad, mm -hmm. it's not, not it. Because uh, it's obvious, or the question doesn't arise, that this, what happens, couldn't be, because it already is it. It's just that what happens. Yeah. But the feeling is see as the feeling. Like sadness doesn't disappear. It's just oh this is sadness, oh this is joy, not only in difficult form, but yeah. even pleasure max nice form. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Same same thing. Yes. Okay. It's a strange thing this whole is that it appears as everything. And not as good <laughs> or bad. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. somehow this thing which um, makes it into good and bad is not, is not more. And maybe also, this is also a description, it's more like, <clears throat> of course, the feelings aren't any more, in a way, the feelings. It's wholeness, which appears as a feeling. Because the separate identity, it, it perceives the feeling as real and as happening to me, to itself, something very heavy. And, wow. But without this perception of being someone, somehow the, the emphasis is more on its wholeness. It's not this strange feeling. It's just what's happening. Sadness, all this stress out. It doesn't have this this meaning somehow. Happiness means I've done it right, and mm -hmm. sadness means I've done it wrong, or anger, or some strange behavior. So, there were so many things where I thought. Um, that wouldn't be happening if there is one. <laughs> and the surprise was that almost everything happens as it is. That there is only that there was only wholeness. There was never anyone separate. There was never anyone saying And it, it's just this. It's just so normal, so just what it is. Everything. It's somehow, it's in someone Amazing. So it also has nothing to do with um, how you behave or how you are. Know, it's totally just what happens. And also this just happens. It's, it's not a... Without this person it's really not a state. It, there is just what there is. There's anger, there's anger. And also no thought of ever getting out there or something. Or maybe a thought, but not, not no hope really of getting out there. Just I don't want this, or I don't. Mm. Then it's only this. No idea of. Uh, a journey or a purpose or I, I have to go through it or oh I that was bad for me or this shouldn't happen again or something. Just that's in a way the difference. This is not to not to create a there is no separation. There is no one. There is only what happens, what appears. And 
one is also may appear as having anger and thinking about it. It's also one is. There's no realization of it because there's nobody to realize. How? How is yeah. word? It's a bit difficult. How we get there? Not how we get there. You know, <laughs> like it's <laughs> the thing kind of. <laughs> but why we are not in that state naturally? Because we have stopped, because we... Okay. Because there is only holiness. Yeah. It's, it's without reason, actually. There is no, no reason why... why wholeness appears like this. It just appears like this. It doesn't need to have a reason. And if you would say um, this has an intention or it doesn't see any difference between apparently separate, which is actually not separate, and, and wholeness, because that is only wholeness. Mm -hmm. So it's not a bad thing. It's not bad or wrong, or it's just what happens. But without us seeing the wholeness as as it is really, pain can suffering can without. Without the wholeness, I mean, yeah. the wholeness of yeah. our, our yeah. is there, not without yeah. the it. With the perception of the yeah. and suffering. Yeah. 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 So, if there's no goal, no path to it. It's just what, what there is, suffering, pain. Yeah. How to study it. How to? How to kind of cut with it. And how to, sorry, again. to cut, to cut to through, cut through with it. I mean, there's no goal, understand, there's no specific mm -hmm. path or like guideline to Actually, it's one. impossible to cut it, because there is no one who can cut it over. There is no separate entity, maybe God, maybe a person, who can cut anything or not cut. There just is what there is. What there is. There is only this. And also, this talking here, and it may appear like here is a person who has given us something, which is not the case actually. It doesn't give me anything. Mm -hmm. it, there is. There's nothing, there's nothing which I have reached and now in my pocket and can relax because of this. This apparent event of losing oneself, very loosely said, doesn't prevent me from anything happening. Like pain, like even suffering. Anyway. Of course, there is no one who suffers, but it's not a prevention from anything to happen. From car crash, from from uh, parking tickets, or yeah, it's the way you relate to it that might be different. In a way, yes. yeah. <laughs> In a way, there is no relation anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because that's just what happens. Uh -huh.
From the viewpoint of the apparent separate thing, it's, it's almost me. It's really me. But of course there is no one separate. So. <laughs> Because also this cutting through this this seemingly small step which has to happen is also from, from it's a movement in a way from here to there from not cut to cut it but there is only, only this and there is no it's without it's it's outside of time. It's, it's just. It's, how can there be a movement anywhere? How can. It's, it's impossible. I don't see what should change for it not to be all. I don't see anyone sitting here who should become anything else in order to be homeless. It's this. Nothing else. I don't see anyone who is not enlightened. There's just what happens. That's everything. <coughs> The one, that, that's also that's the one thing. There is this apparent me, and it thinks that, that there's me. I'm separate, and I can be one. But there is no me who can either be separate. The whole perception of me is separation. Is there the me? No, it's apparently so. There is, one could say, this, there is only what there is, and this is real and unreal. So, to say there is no me as strange, to say there is a me is also, also strange. It's real and unreal. But there's nothing separate. There's no thing which really exists separately, with head, which has an own essence or an own something. Mm -hmm. It's appearing like anything else, like chair is appearing. Like this. But for this me, all this, all this is only are only real things. It experiences the chair as a thing which is real and stands there. <coughs> Without this perception, it's real and unreal, and its wholeness appearing as a chair. It's a description. Actually, same, same with everything. Mm -hmm. To say that this is not here is strange. It's, it's this. This is somehow here, apparently, as an appearance. 
an appearance also is just a description of something which it cannot be described yet. It's just how it looks like. <laughs> Not only when it's more alive, more Pointless to have a search for it because there's nothing to search of. I mean, kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. It, it is totally like this. Yeah. So it's kind of then what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just sit there. Um, no. It just is what it is. Also, getting up, having lunch turning on the TV. Putting the clock for next morning, getting up, go to work. This is all happening. It has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Yeah. Life happens beautifully without you. Beyond an experience. 